Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to give you my personal review on the Fluval 307. This canister filter has been absolutely amazing. Um, we've had several different styles in the past and we are using this for our turtle. If you know anything about turtles, they are very dirty. This is one of the quietest filters I have ever used and it keeps our turtle tank as clean as we could hope for. Um, I've been cleaning this uh, before purchasing this specific filter. I've been cleaning it about every two or three weeks and now I could go like a month and a half and not have to clean it um, and it, I just keep cycling a little bit of water out of it. And I just want to give you a review on this and show you how simple this filter is. So first off, with this canister filter, it is pretty large. Um, it works for up to 70, ga 70 gallons of water. So we currently have a 75 gallon tank with 40 gallons of water in it, well approximately 40 gallons. And it has been working amazingly. So I'm going to show you how to open it here. Uh, you go on the tabs here and you pull these out and then you push these down and it'll pull up the whole top of the canister. I just disconnected this from our tank so it is currently dirty and has um, all the filters in it right now. So then you just lift up on it. So lift up on the side tabs and remove that off to the side. Uh, the best place to clean this is in your sink because it is dirty. Um, so we have here the top to this. This goes over three of your, your media filters here. I'm going to just pull them all out. You can see there's one, two, three. Um, they use several different styles filters. Some You can put different kind of filters and media in here. And then on the side here, you also have three more filters. So we are going to clean this and probably one of the other ones in the in that tower. And it is recommended when cleaning these uh, for your for your uh, pets that you want to not clean all the filters at the same time because you want some of that bacteria and stuff to stay in the tank um, to keep the HP and everything neutralized. So I'm going to start cleaning this and then when I go to reinstall it, I'm gonna show you how nice and smooth it is to reinstall it back into um, to the to the hoses that connect to it. Uh, it is definitely the smoothest process uh, for cleaning a filter system and it just seems super hassle free i'd have to use catch pans and stuff with all my previous filter systems and i've just loved it so we've had this again for a little over three months and i highly recommend it i'll have a link below to show you um, the exact model that we have if you want to just click on that and purchase it that's awesome if not, um, you can get this at your local pet store and uh, it's worth spending the extra money to get this product because we have cycled through many different products, spending hundreds of dollars trying to figure out what works for our turtle. And turtles are one of the messiest reptiles, so this has been working amazingly. So hopefully this helps. I'm going to get this cleaned and then we will reinstall it. Alright, so we have the filters cleaned. Now we're going to reinstall the lid onto here. You can see here there's a notch on one side of the canister. That notch will match the model number that you have. So you will, you do not need to pre-fill this with water. I will show you how that works. So you put it down, you put these tabs, make sure they're under the sides, and then you pull up on them like so and then it will seal there and then that is it next step would be to actually go through and wipe it down so you're not dripping water through the house so I'm gonna wipe this down and then we're gonna set it up all right so you can see that I have my hoses right here we are going to put the pump inside here it's pretty light when there's no water in it I guess it's maybe five pounds. Um, once you fill it with water, you're sitting at just under 21 pounds. You take your, your hose here, make sure this lever right here is up, and then you just set it there, pull down on this lever, and it pulls that into place. 
Now it is not sealed yet. It is sealed once you go like this. So you could hear that it pulled water into the system. I am in the middle of cleaning my turtle's tank out. So you can see here now that I am adding water to the tank once it's full. Um, full to me is once it's above this. I usually let it get about a third of the way full. So once it's above that part of the hose and then over here, once this is under water, any time after that is, is considered full to me. Um, although I do like to raise it a couple inches past this because we use a heater in our turtle's tank and this will make the water evaporate. We keep it about 80 degrees and it does an amazing job. So I will leave a review on that as well. Had a tough time finding a heater that I felt was going to be safe enough for our turtle. So I'll let this fill up and then I will show you how to prime the pump. All right, so I'm gonna show you here. We have water above the intake and the outlet. So you're gonna come over here it says to pump it a few times vigorously. I'm gonna pump it more than a few. So what's that, what that is doing is it is pulling water into the tank. I will show you up top here. So while you're hearing all that bubbling, I'm gonna explain to you water is being pulled in the inlet and then it was being pushed out of the outlet here. Once this stops bubbling, you can finally plug in the pump to turn it on, but you don't wanna turn it on until this is done bubbling. Um, what, what it's doing is it's pushing all of the air out of the lines, and when you pump that lever down here, it is actually priming the whole tank. So it's pulling water into the tank, filling all the hoses with water, and now the hoses should be completely full. So we will take our plug in, and we're going to plug it in over here. Pushed out a little bit more air. So there you have it. Sometimes it'll make a little couple more air bubble noises um, through the next like you know a few minutes or something but it does go away completely if after like 30 minutes it doesn't go away what I would do is I would come back down here I would unplug it and then I would pump that a few more times and just wait a few minutes because there might be like an air pocket trapped somewhere in the line or in the tank okay so I'm going to show you a close-up of the system you can hear it slightly, but it is definitely, it's definitely extremely quiet. So if the cabinet's closed, you could not hear it whatsoever. And then as far as everything up here, it's very quiet as well. And now we will grab our turtle and put her in her clean tank. So there we have it. Hercules is back in her tank. She is on the heater already. But I'm pretty, she comes to this corner of the tank when she wants food. So you can see here that the tank is very clean. She may not look like it, but she is 12 inches long and we named her Hercules because she can move all of these rocks without any problems. We do cycle through the rocks. Sometimes we put some larger ones in here and she'll move all of them. It doesn't matter what size or anything. So um, there you have it. She's back in her home and she seems happy. Probably wants food already. She looks like she's a little stuck there, but she'll figure it out. Let's watch her. There she goes. She's pretty strong, so.
So I hope this video has been helpful. Here is an image of the filter box that we purchased. Uh, we purchased this from our local pet market. Uh, you can order it online or purchase it from your local store. And you can expect to spend anywhere from like $140 up to $200 for this. I will have a link below to where you can purchase it at the best price. And if you uh, go into your local pet store to support your businesses, you can share that price with them and they would most likely match it. So uh, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe for future videos and have a great day.